Okay, and so part D, we have h being the function defined by h of x is f of x squared minus 1. And we want to find the first three non-zero terms and the general term of the Taylor series for h about x equals 0. So f of x is 1 plus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 squared plus x plus 1 cubed, etc., which is x plus 1 to the nth power is the general term. And we know that that uh, converges to negative 1 over x within the interval of convergence. So h of x now is just going to be f of x squared minus 1. And so all we're doing is substituting x squared minus 1 wherever we see x. And so h of x should be this function, negative 1 over x squared minus 1. And we can find h of 1 half pretty straightforward. And that is negative 1 over 1 half quantity squared minus 1. And so that simplifies out to negative 1 over negative 3 fourths, which is going to be positive 4 thirds. And so that is uh, the second part of this. Now we still need the uh, first three non-zero terms, and we need the general term. So just as we plugged in into the function f of x, wherever we saw x, we plugged in x squared minus 1. Well, if we go back to the Taylor series representation of that function, we could, wherever we see x, we could also plug in x squared minus 1. So if I were to plug in x squared minus 1 into the series, wherever I see an x, so we're going to, wherever we see the x in the series, we're going to substitute x squared minus 1. And when we simplify that, those 1's are going to go away, and you're going to see that we end up with 1 plus x squared plus x to the 4th plus x to the 6th, etc. Now we only need the first three non-zero terms here, and you have to, if they ask for three, you got to give them exactly three. And, but then they ask for the, uh, then they ask for the general term. So we start with the zeroth term. The zeroth term is 1, and then the first term is x squared. The second term is x to the fourth. The third term is going to be x to the sixth. And so you can see then that the general term should be x to the n. Sorry, so that was x to the 2n there. And so that's the general term. And it wasn't too bad. So that brings us to the end of this problem. And I think that uh, based on what we've done so far, you can handle all of these different uh, aspects of this problem. Now, not every problem is going to be like this. This one was a lot of geometric stuff and uh, some transformations on the, uh, the, the series. But I think that you can handle it. All right, that's it for this particular problem.